Hello, business heroines. This is Emerald Peaceful Green Forest from the EmpoweredMessenger.com. And I am here with this month's Ask a Business Heroine question. Here it is. A client recently told me she wanted to stop working with me. She told me and others in my industry that I'm not worth the price and that working with me was a waste of money. I'm heartbroken. I really believe in what I'm doing and so many other clients have gotten great results from our work together. I know I shouldn't let one dissatisfied client throw me off, but I can't seem to bounce back. How do I handle a situation like this? Excellent question. So the first thing I want to say to you about this situation is that especially if this person is saying this about other people in your industry as well, uh, what you need to be really clear about is this is about them. It's not about you. It's not about the value that you have to offer. And it's not about your services that you have delivered. This is very much about them. And they are projecting onto you because of their inability to generate and create results. And this is not uncommon. There are people who go from place to place and person to person and coach to coach and their big story is, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. It's not working for me. And so it's important for you to just really get some perspective on that, that there are certain people for whom it may never work for them. And so that's not something that you need to take personally. What you need to do is just be simply aware and perhaps be a little bit more detailed in your initial consultation in the screening process to discern if in fact it is a fit for you to work with this person. And one of the main questions that you might want to add to your screening process is, have you ever worked with another mentor or coach? And then follow that question up if their answer is yes with, how did that work out for you? And you'll find out pretty quickly when you ask those questions whether the person that you're talking to is somebody who has achieved good results, has achieved great results, believes in coaching and mentorship, takes personal responsibility for their own success, or if they're somebody who is going from place to place, coach to coach, mentor to mentor, and never really achieving the success that they say that they want. Uh, and that's probably a pretty good sign that you don't want to make them an offer at all. It's better not to have a client that is dissatisfied than to take on a client because you feel like you need the money or you think you're the one that's going to save them and fix them and be the, the one mentor that's the star mentor that gets them the results that they want. So make sure you don't have your ego involved in this at all and just be really you know, clear with yourself around what kind of client you actually want to attract. And then the final thing that I'll say to you is that you may need to do a little bit of tweaking in your own messaging. If you are attracting uh, somebody who became dissatisfied, you may need to just become a little bit clearer about who it is that you want to work with, how you want to work with them, and how you're articulating and communicating that into the marketplace. I hope this helps. And, you know, I think one final piece of advice that I would give you and offer to you is you really have to be able to shake things off in business because business is like one gigantic experimental laboratory. Sometimes things are going to work. Sometimes they aren't going to work. The most important thing that you need to do is stay connected to and committed to your particular calling and not have attachment to any way or form that it might uh, present itself as, as you learn and grow in the market and as a business owner. Sometimes things that have worked for years suddenly stop working. And so it's time for you to put your experimental laboratory hat and your laboratory coat back on and try something new, making sure that you stay committed and connected to your own personal calling and to your source of inspiration. I'm Emerald Peaceful Green Forest, and if you have any interest in finding out more about what I have to offer, 
please visit me at theempoweredmessenger.com.